Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so for today's video, I really want to do a gen my January favorites and it will be a little bit of beauty um, and I think just beauty and fashion. Yeah, just beauty and fashion. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. Uh, so maybe you will see that I have really short hair this time. <laughs> That's because I always wear um, clip-on extensions and today I just decided to don't wear it. I just want to try something else. So I'm just with my natural hairs. Um, so don't, don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And also click a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to follow me on my social media. I have two Instagram accounts. So I will just say to just let's start it right the first thing i think i will first with um, the makeup part makeup beauty part and uh, the first one is this one do you guys see what it is this one are the uh, morphe brushes in collaboration with jacqueline hill um, I wanted this brush for a very, very long time and my husband bought them to me for um, Christmas and I didn't show it to you last time so I thought to show it to you right now. Um, these brushes are amazing, they come in this really like hard case and this is perfect for traveling so that's why I wanted this. I will show you how you open it, you open it with like a magnet, like a magnet opening. And inside you have all the brushes. They all look like this. I think there are, ooh, I'm not, don't want to say something wrong, but I think about 27 brushes, different brushes, face brushes, and for the eyes as well. Uh, they are amazing, really good quality. I love to, to bring this with me, so I don't take anything else. Just the brushes with me and this hard case, so you can protect your brushes. Uh, one of my favorites that I have is this Morphe for Jacqueline Hale, uh, the brush um, for foundation, the foundation brush, and it's exactly the same as the normal foundation brush for Morphe. I love it to death, like I've been using just this one. Before I always use the Beauty Blender, since I have this one I've just been using um, this and it's like amazing. Uh, yeah, you have a lot of different ones, you also have like blending brushes, um, I love them. It's such a beautiful present, like for birthday presents or for like Christmas presents. I love it so, so much and it's such a good quality brushes. So I really, really recommend them. I've just been using them since Christmas, like since the 27th of December. I've just been using these brushes and I can really, really rec recommend them. So next is a beauty product um, and this one is like one of my favorite masks in the whole world. The Summer Fridays masks. So the first one I purchased and I also did a review on was the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. It's like an hydrating mask and uh, I did a first impression, a video of first impression with this one and I was so, so impressed. And I still love it so much. Uh, sometimes it breaks me out a little bit, but not that much. And, and then they came out with the second one. And this one is the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. And this one has pumpkin uh, seeds in it. And it seriously smells like pumpkin. It's amazing. And it's, if you do like the type of smell, like a pumpkin spice latte, like this is it, you know, it smells amazing. Um, what it is, it's a more like an exfoliator. Um, and I do love a good exfoliator. I don't use it as much as I should. So when I bought this, I can just tell you, I have been using this twice or three a week and I love it. Um, you just have to do like circular emotion, uh, 60 seconds everywhere in the, in, in, the, in the face. With the blue one, just like mask, you also can put the mask under your eyes, but with this one, not because it's an exfoliator. Um, so I just uh, lay uh, the mask and I leave the mask for about 10 minutes and then I rinse it off. And this one makes the skin so, so um, soft and yeah i feel like it's amazing and you can also combine the, the two of them so first i use this one and afterwards i hydrate the, the skin with this one so now summer fires came out with another one like a pink version and that mask it's like a more glowing mask and i really want to try that one as well 
um yeah but these two are amazing like you don't need other masks when you do have these two to be honest you don't need anything else Next beauty product is the uh, Drunk Elephant from the Junk Elephant brand and is the A Passioni or A Passioni Retinol Cream. It looks like this. And this retinol cream is amazing. It's 1% retinol and I always use retinol uh, for a very long time. Uh, I think it's the 2% or 2.5% that I use. And I use it twice or three a week uh, during the night. Um, with this one, with the drunk elephant, they say you can also use it during the day, but you do have to protect your skin with like um, a sunscreen cream um, because otherwise, with the UV uh, light, it can damage your skin if it's in combined with the retinol cream. Um, I use my retinol 2.5% for a very long time and then I saw the drunk elephant came with a new retinol cream so I really wanted to give it a try and I have been using this for about I will say two months now and I do love it. I, right now I don't see results, it's a little bit too early, you have to wait a little bit longer to see results. I use it twice a week and I really like it. I feel like the skin it's, is more smooth afterwards and yeah, I think I really want to try to use it more and see what it can get. But for now, I really like it. So I can actually really recommend it. This way is my first product from Drunk Elephant that I use. And for now, I'm really, really impressed. So next are the um, moisturizing cream that I've been using the past, oh, I think, three months. Yeah, three months. As you guys may know, my favorite, ultimate favorite um, moisturizing cream is of course the creme de la mer the classic moisturizing cream from la mer and this one will always be my holy grail um, I will never stop in purchasing this because these one actually make wonder to my skin I never feel um, better with uh, so better in my life and in my skin thanks to this cream i'm like so so impressed with it the smell is amazing and it's almost done but i think i can still a whole month i, th I think i can keep up with it and this one is the 30 milliliters one um it's very moisturizing it's perfect for this time of year when it's really really cold here in switzerland and uh, you can also use it as an eye cream, so it's like two in one. It's very expensive, you, but you don't need a lot. Um, so a little bit goes a long way. Um, the next that I will purchase when this one is gone, I will purchase exactly the same, the moisturizing cream creme de la mer, but the 50 milliliters because I cannot live without it. I mean, it's, it's so incredible. Like I cannot talk more about this cream but the thing is it's a very expensive cream so I didn't want to wear it twice a day just once a day I want to use it in the evening because I think it had better effects because otherwise underneath the makeup you don't want to use such an expensive cream so I wanted to find a, a, exactly a cream that was moisturizing as de la mer I don't know if it is but a thicker version of a moisturizing cream uh, so then I found one and I'm really impressed with it. I'll show you what it is. So during the night I use the creme de la mer, but in the morning I use this cream, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Cream. It looks like this. It's such a beautiful packaging with the rose and gold. And this one is how many milliliters? 50 milliliters. And it says Charlotte's Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turn Around Moisturizer SPS 15. That's amazing. So good for the day, like such a, a good day cream with SPF, and it's like an hydrating cream. Um, I have been using this in the morning. A lot of people use it also as a primer, and I have used it every single day, and I didn't use a lot. Huh? So you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way smells really good and it's not a very intense smell that's also really good uh, if you have sensitive skin and it's very moisturizing um, I don't feel like it did a lot for my skin like the La Mer have done but as a day cream this is good because it's very moisturizing and 
it really sits good under makeup so if you don't want to pay such a much such a lot of money with this one the La Mer, you can actually try the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream I feel like it's really really good so the next beauty product and the last beauty product I want to talk to you guys about is the lip balm from La Mer and this product I have been talking also a lot about um, it's a very expensive lip balm but oh, it's so good this one is my second one now well, okay I've been <laughs> I, I have been using lip balm for this lip balm for a very long time so maybe it's the 10th but now I bought another one because mine was like done after I think one half year it was done so I had to purchase another one and now I have been using this one as well it smells a little bit like a uh, like mint yeah it's a minty kind of flavor but the thing that I love so much about this lip balm is it's so hydrating like I get always a lot of pro a lot of compliments from people asking me what I use for my lips because they have really dry lips because of the winter weather um, and they always ask me what do you use and I always have to talk about this because this is the only thing I use uh, especially during the night and it hydrates your lips the whole night and in the morning you just have to apply again uh, before your um, matte liquid lipstick and to be honest it's the only thing that works also if it's expensive but it's so so worth it so try it out if you haven't tried a product from La Mer because it's very expensive try please the La Mer lip balm because it costs approximately 70 euros I think and it's so worth it uh, it's not that expensive but it's a lot for a lip balm I understand that but if you want to try something from La Mer that is not as expensive as the cream try please the lip balm because this one is bomb now next is the fashion um, favorites for this month of January and the first favorite are actually because there's two of them are my teddy coats uh, so I can't tell you guys how I love my teddy coats uh, I was debating a very long time to purchase one of them and I never really find the right color or the right fit because they are typically oversized um, and then I checked and the first one I bought is the one from Misguided and I think they are still sold out uh, but they always try to restock them so just check the website again because sometimes they restock it and then you can find it again because that's what I did when I saw it first was sold out and then after two weeks was a restock of it so just notify yourself on the website and then the, the email will tell you when they're back in stock uh, so the first one is these teddy coats. I got a lot of questions about these teddy coats uh, everywhere, like also in my Instagram, but also when I was walking around the streets of Zurich, for example. This one is the one from Exactly Misguided teddy coat. This one is in a size UK6, also Euro 34, because it's oversized, I want a little bit, not that big, so like normal size. And I'm so happy I got it like this because it's still oversized on me, but not it's not draining me, you know, it like looks good. And I love like the front of it, it's so beautiful. And the camel color is like everything that I like in a coat. It looks like this, it's huge. And it's very, very cozy and it's very warm. So I really recommend this. Then I have the second one. The second one is from Shane so it's a like a like a less expensive one this one from Misguided was approximately I think 80 euros or 85 euros something like this the next one from Shane was I think 35 euros something like this like much much less expensive but still beautiful still amazing I'll show you how it looks is this one so this one is a little bit more brown red color than the other one the other one is true camel color and these are also love and it's also so cozy and it's not as much as as warm as the uh, misguided one but this one is also so so cute and cozy and also looks like this and very big <laughs> and the size on this oh my god i'm not sure i don't th i don't wait to check Mm, it doesn't say the sizing but I would say S I would say this one is an S 
and I love it because I think it's just coming a S medium and large not XS so I think this one is a S and I'm so so in love with it so next and last product of my January favorite is of course a bag we have to talk about bags right and the one that I have been using the whole month of January probably the whole month of December uh, is this amazing bag this one is my Birkin Birkin 30 in toggle leather. I wanted this bag for a very very long time I have been thinking about this bag for the longest time and now it's finally mine and I love it so much It's huge so you do fit a lot in it and I still have a lot of stuff from work and I can't talk so much about it because I feel like everyone knows this bag everyone loves this bag so much uh, for me it's a very practical bag I use it for work and it can be a little bit heavy, uh, especially because already the leather is heavy. Um, but, and then of course you fill it up with, with all the stuff and it will get even more heavy. But I really don't care. I feel like it looks so put together, so elegant and yeah, I just love it. And then I cannot stop using it. Now with my new Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, then yeah, I will use that one more, of course. <laughs> but otherwise, this one is a perfect, perfect work bag. Like I cannot talk about this enough. I also been taking this for dinners and, and I do, do not care because I feel like it fits so good and it fits with every outfit actually. And it's just so, so beautiful. So guys, that was it for my uh, January favorites. Uh, if you like it, please click a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me. And I hope you guys have a fabulous evening and a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Bye, guys.